Introduction Evolution is any change across successive generations in the heritable characteristics of biological populations. And variations are the structural, functional or behavioral changes from the normal characters developed in the living organisms. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define evolution, understand origin of life, identify acquired and inherited traits, understand speciation, understand evolution and classification, understand tracing evolutionary relationships, identify fossils, understand evolution by stages, identify difference between evolution and progress, Understand process of human evolution. Evolution Evolution is a gradual process through which the present-day animals and plants have arisen since the time life originated. Variation As we have already discussed that, variations are the structural, functional or behavioral changes from the normal characters developed in the living organisms. Origin and accumulation of variations are must because these provide raw material for evolution. Types of variation Variations may be inheritable or non-inheritable. Inheritable variations participate in evolution while non-inheritable variations do not participate in evolution. On the basis of nature of cells where variations occur, variations are of two types. Somatogenic variations or acquired traits, germinal or blastogenic variations. Somatogenic variations that are restricted to the somatic cells of the organism appear any time during the life of an organism and such variations die along with the organism and are non-heritable. These are variations that are found in the gene pool of an organism. They may be already present in the ancestors or may occur any time. These variations are heritable and form the raw materials for evolution. Sources of variation Variations are caused due to Mutations, genetic drift. Mutations are sudden, large and inheritable changes in the genetic material. These may be caused by certain natural agents or certain human activities. Genetic drift is the random change in the gene frequency occurring by chance fluctuations. It is inversely proportional to the size of population so is mostly applicable in small population having high chances of inbreeding and increasing the frequency of homozygosity of harmful genes. It provides diversity without any adaptation. Origin of life Origin of life is best explained by the Darwin's theory of natural selection. The three main points of this theory are each organism has an ability to survive and reproduce. During reproduction, organism shows variations in many characteristics with the species. Organisms with advantageous characteristics are likely to produce more individuals. The characteristics which help the organisms to survive are inherited by their offsprings and gradually increase generation after generation or they are naturally selected. Stanley L. Miller and Harold C. Uray in 1953 experimentally proved the formation of simple organic compounds from simpler compounds under reducing conditions in their simulation experiment. Acquired and Inherited Traits Inherited characters are those which are controlled by DNA in reproductive cells and are passed on from one generation to another. Any change in such characters 
results in variations. Acquired characters are those which are acquired by an organism in their lifetime and do not bring any change in DNA and therefore are not passed on to next generation. Speciation Speciation is a process of forming new species when variations occur in geographically isolated members which leads to reproductive isolation where members of some species do not reproduce with each other. Migration of members of a population with subtle changes into another population will help in spreading of new traits into new population. Genetic drift, that is, elimination of certain genes from a population due to natural calamity or death, will bring change in gene frequency. Variations also accumulate when inaccuracies occur in the DNA copying mechanism. Change in chromosome number may also cause drastic differences in two subgroups. Sexual reproduction also causes variation. Geographical barrier or geographical isolation like intervention of river or mountain between two subgroups of population causes decrease in level of gene flow. Reproductive isolation occurs between two subgroups, which means two subgroups develop trait which do not allow them to mate with each other. Evolution and Classification Similarities among organisms will allow us to group them. The more characteristics two species will have in common, the more closely they are related. The more closely they are related, the more recently they will have had a common ancestor. It can be understood more clearly by the example of a brother and a sister. They are more closely related as their ancestors are common. We can thus build up small groups of species with recent common ancestors, then supergroups of these groups will more distant common ancestors and so on. Tracing Evolutionary Relationships Various biological studies tell us that since their origin, living organisms have been undergoing changes in their organization to evolve into new forms. A number of common features of different kinds of organisms provide evidence in favor of evolution because they can be considered to have evolved from a common ancestor. Some of the important sources which provide evidences for organic evolution are homologous organs, analogous organs. Homologous organs are those organs which have the same basic structure but different functions. Example, four limbs of a frog, bird and man. They are built from same basic design of bone, but they perform different functions like jumping, flying and grasping. Analogous organs are those organs which have different basic structure, but same basic functions. Example, wings of insects and birds have different structures but they perform same function of flying. Fossils The remains of dead animals or plants that lived in the remote past are known as fossils. Ammonite, invertebrate, Nicaea, fish, and Rajasaurus, dinosaur, are some examples of fossils. If we dig the earth and start finding fossils, we find closer to surface are recent than fossils we find in deeper layers. Let us start 100 million years ago. Some invertebrates on the seabed die and are buried in the sand. More sand accumulates and sandstone forms under pressure. Millions of years later, dinosaurs living in the area die and their bodies too are buried in mud. This mud is also compressed into rock above the rock 
containing the earlier invertebrate fossils. Again, millions of years later, the bodies of horse-like creatures dying in the area are fossilized in rocks above these earlier rocks. Much later, by erosion or water flow, wears away some of the rock and exposes the horse-like fossils. Evolution by Stages A change that is useful for one property to start which can become useful later for quite a different function. Example Feather can start out as providing insulation in cold weather, but later they might become useful for flight. Some dinosaurs had feathers, although they could not fly using feathers. Difference between evolution and progress. In evolution, older species are not eliminated during the formation of new species, and most of older and simpler species still survive. The evolved species are not always better than the parental species. Evolution depends upon natural and genetic drift which together result in a population which is reproductively isolated from the parental species. Human Evolution As we have discussed earlier, human beings and great apes are closely related species. These had a common ancestor a long time ago. Even in human beings, there occurs a great diversity in form and features across the globe. For a long time, we used to consider these human forms as human races. On the basis of time dating, study of fossils and molecular phylogeny involving DNA sequences, it is now clear that all human beings belong to single Homo sapiens. Also, the earlier members of Homo sapiens have been traced back to Africa. Some of our ancestors stayed back in Africa and spread across this continent. Others left Africa and slowly spread across planet over a period of time. These groups of ancestors, like other species, lived their lives in the prevailing environment and developed genetic variation to become different colored with specific features in different geographical region. Did you know T. Dobzhansky wrote the book Genetics and Origin of Species? Coacovates are aggregates of complex organic compounds and capable of growth and division by fragmentation and fission. Earliest cells were anaerobic, prokaryotic and chemoheterotrophic in nature. A.I. Oparin wrote the book Origin of Life in 1936. Herbert Spencer gave the term evolution. Charles Darwin proposed the concept of organic evolution which propounds descent with modification. Leonardo da Vinci is also known as father of paleontology. W. F. Libby proposed carbon-14 dating technique also called absolute dating technique. Boltwood proposed uranium-lead method for dating fossils. Neanderthal man was the first civilized man, while Cro-Magnon man is supposed to be extinct representative of modern man. Man is more closely related to chimpanzees than to monkeys because there is 10% difference between DNA of man and monkeys while 2.5% difference between DNA of man and chimpanzees. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Main sources of variations are mutations, recombination of genes, genetic drift, etc. Mutations are sudden, large and inheritable changes in genetic material. Mutations act as evolutionary agents and create and maintain variations in a population. Natural selection operates through differential reproduction due to which useful genetic variability spreads over more and more members of the population.
This increases their gene frequency. Genetic drift is the random change in the gene frequency occurring by chance fluctuations. Genetic drift increases the frequency of certain characters having little survival advantage. Charles Darwin proposed theory of natural selection for organic evolution. He proposed that only useful continuous variations help in evolution and natural selection selects only the best adapted individuals from a heterogeneous population. Most accepted theory of origin of life is chemosynthetic theory. It was proposed by Oparin and Haldane. It states that primitive life originated in water about 4.2 billion years ago by chemical evolution in the primitive reducing environment of Earth. It was experimentally supported by Miller and Urey. Speciation involves origin of new species from the pre-existing species. Speciation may be gradual or instantaneous. Gradual speciation may be allopatric or sympatric while instantaneous speciation occurs by mutations. Evolutionary relationships can be traced by the classification of organism. Homologous organs appear different and perform different functions but have similar basic structure and origin while analogous organs have different basic structure but appear similar to perform similar functions. Fossils are petrified remains or impressions of hard parts of extinct organisms preserved in the sedimentary rocks. These are written documents of evolution. Evolutionary relationships may be determined by certain intermediate stages. Example, feathered dinosaurs support the idea that birds are glorified reptiles. A common ancestor may evolve into a number of dissimilar looking structures. Example, origin of cabbage, cauliflower, kohlrabi, kale, broccoli, etc. from wild cabbage plant. Evolutionary relationship may also be determined by molecular phylogeny, especially blood proteins and amount of DNA changed. Human evolution started in Africa and includes a number of human types like African ape man, Java ape man, Peking man, Cro-Magnon man and modern man.